FNX! 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 Get out of your weapon chair, here's in the FNX! 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 Behold the new weapon chair, gonna be an FN explosion of epic proportions, so bang your head to this epic guitar, this dodge and knock, crank them both like an epic disaster, which FN young boy gonna be the next FN master of pain? We sell your ass the whole FN seat, but you only need the FN... Yes, I realize my music is awesome, but let's cut it off. I am here to make the announcement that you people will respect me. What are, are you trying to say that I am not a great wrestler? before the bell even rang, going up against the monster, Congo Kong, and of course Kong has Ruthless Riley in his corner. There's a lot of things that Jeremy Hadley said to this crowd, a lot of things that this commentator right here guaranteed does not agree with, especially when he says that he is the president, the president of the divided states, is that what he said? Well, I can promise you this, fans, there's not a Gallup poll in the land that will back up that statement. Hadley still jaw jacking with the fans. Kong is ready for battle here. Of course, you take a look at these two men. Kongo Kong definitely does have the size advantage in this matchup. Hadley's no slouch. I'm going to give it to him. Hadley's a very talented individual, and he does possess the speed and quickness an agility game over Kongo Kong in this matchup. He just actually has to get started. The people here in Bluffton as well as all around have been ready for FNX Wrestling for so long. We were unfortunate to get hit with the pandemic much like the rest of the world did, but we are back and we are ready to go. Remember, fans, Jeremy Hadley made the auspicious. How do I want to say this? He made the uh, he made the claim, not the auspicious, the claim. Excuse me, it's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> but he made the claim that he is going to body slam Congo Kong in this matchup. Congo Kong, a 400 plus pound mammoth man, and Jeremy Hadley is going to pick him up and body slam him. So that is something we're definitely going to be watching for as this match progresses. 
Looks like to finally ready for a collar elbow tie up, maybe to lock up here. Congo gets him in the corner and Hadley ducks out of the way. Uh, a little bit of a celebration there. I already noted at the start of this, Hadley does have the, the quickness and agility over Congo Kong. Gonna try it again. Kong reaches in and Hadley gets out of the way. You'd have thought Hadley just won this match already. Goes for a third time, gets out of, oh! Uh, I don't think Kong was expecting that, but I don't think Hadley's gonna like what comes next. Hadley diving to the outside. He's taking off. He doesn't want to do any of this. I don't think he realizes there's a monster right on his heels. Uh, yeah. You're about to have a nightmare. Oh! Hadley takes a shot. Kong in full control of the offense now. Rolling Hadley back in the ring. Of course, the last time we were at FNX Wrestling at the Bluffton Street Fair, both of these men were victorious in their respective outings. Kong now laying in the shots in the corner. Incoming! Oh! The power offense on display by Congo Kong. Hadley is out of it. <laughs> Bounce off the ropes into a back elbow. Nice clothesline. The monster still on the offense here. Tosses him up and down with a back body drop. The crowd here is 100% in the corner of Congo Kong, especially after the words that Jeremy Hadley had to say to him. Back in the corner, nice shot to the mush. Oh, looks like Kong's just checking on him. He needs to make sure he's okay. Are you still awake there, Hadley? Ooh. It almost seems academic at this point. Hadley now, nice move. Hadley climbs up to Brett's rope and gauches himself off with a nice knee to the face. But the monster still on his feet. And Hadley, once again, premature celebration. What is it with this guy? Kong's just standing there waiting, and now Hadley locks eyes with him. I think he realizes he just made another big, crucial mistake in this matchup. Kong's got him. Lifts him. Ho, ho, ho! Up and over! What's Kong calling for here? He'll be looking for <laughs> of Congo Kong collides with Hadley in the corner. This is it. Going for a cover here. Lateral press in. Only a two count. How do you get his shoulders up? My gosh. Looks like Kong's ready to end this right now. He's just waiting. I've said this word before and I'll say it again. It is just about academic at this point. Kong's got him. Pulls him in with a headbutt. Hadley remembering that time he went to Hawaii. Nice headbutt to the corner. Kong is playing with him. Wait a minute on the outside. Who's, who's is that Nelson? Nelson Edwin Robert Doolittle the fifth. The last time we saw him at FNX Wrestling, he was laid out flat by Congo Kong because of his mouth. And he's got Riley. Nelson tried to pick a fight with Congo Kong the last time we saw him, and we know what happened. He was laid out flat. The incident involved Nelson, some, some fruit, and uh, a few other things that I'm not going to go into detail here, but 
he's got a hold of Riley now, and, and Kong doesn't look, he doesn't look scared. Wait, is he saying go for it? Oh! He was talking to Riley! You don't put your hands on Riley! And wait a minute! Who is that on the outside? The referee's going through a 10 count! Somebody's got Kong's legs! Are you kidding me? What? The referee just counted out Kong! Is that Dust Dustin Mack? These two set this up! Nelson and Dustin Mack! Are you kidding me? The referee just said that... Jeremy Hadley wins this match by count out. Nelson and Dustin Mack just screwed Congo Kong. This is not the way I thought the first contest back here at FNX Wrestling was gonna go, but... Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, I guarantee you this. Those two men, Nelson, job. Dustin Mack, yeah. they better have jumped into a vehicle and got as far away from here as they possibly can because pretty soon, Kong's gonna come looking for those two. For match number two here at FNX Wrestling, a triple threat matchup. Justin Myers returning after first appearing for us in 2019. Set to take on two men who are making their FNX Wrestling debuts. Eric Dillinger, a man who's had a tremendous amount of success over the last year. And the third participant in this matchup, a man who's been all over the country plying his trade. This is Mikey. And it seems like we're going to start off with a, a test of who loves who. Tremendous crowd reaction there for Mikey, but there's also a tremendous reaction for Justin Myers. And it looks like Dillinger is not very happy about that. Wait a minute, what? Well, hey, sure, why not? Referee, enjoy it. It's the only, only good reaction you're going to get in your career. I kid, I kid. There might be another time. We're gonna start off here, maybe looking for a three-way knuckle lock, but Dillinger having none of it. Dillinger getting up in Mikey's face now. Mikey with a trip and an assist by Justin Myers, and Dillinger is furious on the outside. But of course, two men in this matchup still in here. Justin Myers and Mikey. Nice leapfrog there. Ducks the back elbow, turns it into an Irish whip, lifts him up, and Mikey counters with a head scissor. Mikey again with a head scissor. That's two. Dillinger capitalizing, kick to the face on Myers. Goes to toss him over the top rope. Mikey catches himself, Dillinger doesn't realize it until now. Slides through the legs. Going for a pin attempt here, rolls right through, and nice boots to the face. Dillinger's out on his feet. Runs in. Extra elevation head scissor takeover. Dillinger and Myers on the outside. Mikey's got something. Launches himself outside onto both men. This is what you call high octane FNX wrestling action. Mikey now might be looking for an assist from the crowd. Rather unorthodox. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is not an open invitation for you to get involved in matches at FNX Wrestling events. Ooh! The little girls got their dad to chop Dillinger in the chest, and Mikey gives him an extra one for added measure. Trying to get the action back in the ring. Charges into the corner with a nice flying forearm. Climbing up to no man's land. Oh. 
and look at the ferociousness of Mikey with all those rapid fire shots. But he took his eyes off the ball and Myers is capitalizing. Wait a minute, catches the boot. Knee to the face. Double noggin knocker and now Mikey has both Myers and Dillinger in the corner. What's he gonna go for here? It's rather unusual, but if it works, it works. And maybe I spoke too soon there. Both men trying to counter. But Mikey counters it himself with a double Frankensteiner. Mikey now with Dillinger in the center, but Dillinger fighting back. He's had enough, he's tired of it, and he's ready to fight. Huge clubbing blows to the back. Dillinger looking to end things here. Remember, it is only one victory in this matchup. Mikey catches him with the forearm. Going for something here. No, back elbow. Dillinger's dazed. Charging into the corner. What's he going for? Dillinger counters out, up and over to the floor. But Myers, Myers rushes into the corner with a splash. He's got him in a headlock. Nice maneuver there, hits the ropes. Running Hurricanrana. Yes, I know, I called it a Frankensteiner earlier, but it's the same move. Myers now bouncing off the ropes, takes it straight to both men on the outside. That's the main thing about triple threat matches like this. You have to figure out a way to isolate one opponent so that you can put the other one down for a pinfall or a submission. There's always somebody there ready to break it up. Myers and Dillinger fighting on the outside. Mikey is still down. Dillinger countering out, driving him back first into the steel pole. What's Dillinger going for here? Oh! Gut first across the steel guardrail. Wait a second, incoming! Oh. Leg drop across the back of Justin Myers. Dillinger not looking and eats a foot from Mikey. This could be Mikey's opportunity, but Dillinger there to counter out. Rolls him into the ring now. Dillinger going up to the top rope. Hits him with a high elevation frog splash. Mikey's down, Myers is back in the ring. Myers got him with a front face lock. Plants him face first into a cover. And he got it. Justin Myers gets the victory. And with that, Justin Myers advances in the rankings at FNX Wrestling. FNX. And it's now time to shine the spotlight on the FNX Wrestling Women's Division. Blair Onyx stepping in the ring against Jensen. Both of these two young ladies are still cutting their teeth in the world of professional wrestling, but I guarantee you I see bright things for their future. Collar elbow tie up in the ring and Jensen dropping Blair Onyx down on her face. Ooh, Onyx answering back with a paintbrush shot. Onyx now trying to go for an Irish whip attempt. Jensen having none of it. Versus into one of her own. Sidesteps her. Nice shoulder tackle. Bounce off the ropes there. Telegraph that lariat. Gets around her with a waist lock. Look at the power game on display by Jensen. 
Onyx now counters it into a headlock and a nice side takedown. Of course, both of these women, when you take a look back, wait a minute, rolls her into a pin, shoulders down. Only a near fall. When you take a look back at the training both of these women gained when getting into the professional wrestling world, you take a look at the varying styles that they both received. Jensen being a trainee of the monster himself, Congo Kong, while Blair Onyx, on the other hand, was able to ply her trade in the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy. Of course, ran by Merrick Brave and Seth Rollins. Very nice way that she was able to counter out of that maneuver right there. Gets her into another side headlock. Throws her off into the ropes. Clothesline takes her down. Back elbow attempt there by Jensen. Ducks under the clothesline. Once again with the power offense into a slam. Cover in the center of the ring. And only a two count. Jensen can't believe that wasn't enough to put her away. Onyx crawls over into the corner now, gets out of the way just in time, and drives her face first into the top turnbuckle. Shoulder of the midsection. Launches herself back in, gets it with a glancing blow. Rolls her over, gonna go for a cover attempt here, pin. Not enough. Frustration setting in. And the look on Blair Onyx's face as she takes the time to call a fan a, a loser, I guess. Don't know if I agree with that one. Oh, nice stumps. Jensen having to use the ropes to get back to her vertical base. Onyx now with a pull of the hair. Once again, head first into the top turnbuckle. And a blatant choke with the foot right in the referee's viewpoint. I guess Blair Onyx must be going by the Jesse Ventura Academy of Thought. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Jensen fighting back, shots to the midsection. Forearm shot. Hits her with another. Jensen comes in, ducks out of the way there. Russian leg sweep. Could be it, maybe a little too much time has passed. Cover, only gets a two count. Onyx working over that back on Jensen. More stomps. The just utter disrespect by Blair Onyx and once again go into a choking game, choking her with that second rope. Jensen's fighting for breath. Oh, and a shot to the midsection. It's almost like Blair's just playing with her at this point. Jensen back up in a corner. Blair catches her. Oh! Nice chop. Looking for something. Irish whip out of the corner. Jensen hangs on. Going for another. And an elbow shot to the face. Here comes Blair charging in. Eats an elbow. Going for it again. Boot to the face by Jensen. Third time to charm. No, it's not. Eats the turnbuckle. Runs right out into a clothesline. And a second one. Jensen's found her second wind. 
Got her hooked. Lifts her up. Back suplex. Onyx down. Out of the corner with a rolling senton. Into a cover here. This could be it. No. Blair Onyx still has fight left in her. Jensen now setting up for something. Could be looking for a big power move here. Charges in, sidesteps her. Blair hits the ropes, ducks underneath the lariat attempt. Hits the other side, ducks a second lariat attempt. Whoa! Blair with that spider-like offense catches herself. Puts her down face first and locks in a submission attempt. Perfect ring positioning there, Jensen, doing everything she can to get to the bottom rope. Blair is cinching in tighter and tighter, but Jensen is fighting. And she gets to the rope. She gets her foot over that bottom rope. Blair forced to break up the submission. And now Blair, you saw her move. Wait a second. Unorthodox roll up into a pin, but only gets a two count. But can you blame Jensen with all the pressure that was just put on her from that submission hold? Jensen now somehow back up to her feet. Blair counters out of it. Oh my gosh, what a maneuver in the center of the ring into a cover, and that's it. Blair Onyx gains the victory and cements her status in the women's division of FNX Wrestling. FNX. Tag team action now here at FNX Wrestling as we are witnessing the Gingerverse. Jacob Braun and Mark Vandy of the Gingerverse taking on Brad and Briar, the Skimmelhorns. And it looks like Briar Skimmelhorn is gonna start off the contest for his team. Jacob Braun starting off with the Gingerverse. The crowd here in Bluffton, 100% in the corner of the Gingerverse. Makes complete sense with hometown boy Mark Vandy being a member of the Gingerverse. Folks, I can tell you, in following Mark Vandy's career for as long as I have, hearing him get a reception like this is still kind of unusual to me. Top of the contest here, going for Colorado tie-up, and he ducks out of the way. Briar Skimmelhorn showcasing his mental prowess, I believe. Going to look for it again. Wait a second, Mark Vandy's asking for a tag already? And the crowd's into it. Looks like Braun is gonna go ahead and give him what he wants. The Vandy man is now the legal man. Doesn't look like this is what Briar Skimmelhorn was looking for. Given chase, Briar ducks to the outside. And I believe the Skimmelhorns are gonna have to rethink their game plan. Both men back in the ring now. Went for another collar elbow tie up, instead turned into a waist lock by Briar Skimmelhorn. As you can clearly see, Mark Vandy has the height advantage. Up off of his feet for a second time now. Vandy looking to counter out of it, and he does. Nice waist lock applied, and down on the mat. Skimmer Horns might be realizing they're gonna be getting, getting a little bit more of a fight than they were expecting. Sizing each other up once again. Now we got the collar rebel tie up into a side headlock. Shoots him off into the ropes. Nice shoulder tackle. Oh. 
This crowd is loving this match so far. The bounce off the ropes there. Clears it just in the nick of time. Breyer going for a hip toss. Vandy countering out of it. Lands a hip toss of his own. I tell you what, if there's one person here in FNX Wrestling who's been waiting for this night more than anything, it is Mark Vandy. Tag now to Jacob Braun. And a nice headbutt there. Breyer scurrying into his corner. Looks like we're going to see a tag here, and we have Brad Skimahorn, now the legal man for his team. Nice deep arm drag. So far, this offense has been all gingerverse. Brad now fighting back, shots to the, the midsection. Locks in a side headlock. Braun trying to find a way out of this. Backs him up into the ropes and shoots him off. But Brad takes him down with a shoulder tackle. Hits the ropes now. Very nice leapfrog on the part of Braun and he answers it back with a hip toss. It seems like the Gingerverse has nothing but answers for the entire offensive game of the Skimmerhorns, and the power is now on display on the part of Jacob Braun as he scoops him up and down to the slam. Bounce off the ropes. Wait a minute. Breyer's got a hold of him, and that allows Brad to hit him with a kick. The Skimmerhorns have just taken control of the offense, and now a quick tag to Breyer. Looking for some double team tactics here. Into the ropes. Double back elbows. Gets him up and a flapjack to his own partner right down on the broad into a pin attempt. He could have it. Only a near fall. Ooh, nice boot to the mush. Quick tags now. Brad Skimmerhorn back in. Of course, the Skimmerhorns are coming to us from Arkansas. Both of these teams highly decorated in their respective careers. They have been champions in so many promotions all over the country. Brad now with a kick and a shot to the face on Mark Vandy. Referee now is going to have to make sure there is a blind tag on Breyer. The referee did not see it. It's going to be up to his discretion whether he's going to let it stand. And it looks like he is. Briar Skimmelhorn, now the legal man. And they've got Braun trapped in their corner. Quick tag once again. Here comes Brad. And I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, this is just the start of our showcase of our tag team division here at FNX Wrestling. There is so much to come in the future. Once again, they're trying to get on Vandy. Vandy is itching to get back in here in the offense. And while the referee's back is turned, the Skimmerhorns take advantage. Looks like Breyer, once again, the legal man. Jacob Braun fighting. He's got to make the tag to his partner. Briar Skimmerhorn cutting him off. That's a smart tactic. Keep your opponent in your corner. Nice European uppercut. Hits him with a double. And Braun. Braun grabs him, he's got him in the fireman's carry. Round and round they go. Looks like that's affected both men, but Braun able to get to his corner, tag to Mark Vandy, who's now the legal man, and he's opening up like a house of fire. Vandy now shoots Brad into the ropes, big boot. 
And he's calling for it. He's got him. Guzzo could be looking for a choke slam. Picks him up. Brad able to get out of it just in the nick of time. Blocks the punch attempt. Guzzo's him again. And he's down with a choke slam. Cover. Referee. Oh, and Breyer's there to break it up. It seems like everything's breaking loose here. Breyer with a kick to Jacob Brown on the outside. Wahoo! A stunner German suplex combination. What a maneuver! Into a cover. Two and no! Mark Vandy got his shoulder up just in time, and Jacob Braun was there for the save. Braun now fighting back all four men in the ring at the same time. Braun laying in the shots to the Skibbehorns. Vandy is slowly making his way back to his vertical base. Wait a minute. Braun's got him up for a torture rack. Vandy's got him up. The Skibbehorns are in double torture racks. The referee's chicken, and that's it. The Skimmel Horns have been put down by the Gingerverse. The Gingerverse. ourselves an interesting matchup scheduled right here. I can't You're wait to see what these, these two... If you're a wizard, what house are you in? Guess what? It doesn't exist. You're an adult, Sage. Wizards are fake. Well, I guess Tanner Keeler wants to take a little bit of time to jaw jack with his opponent before the match actually begins. Making fun of the fact that Sage Phillips likes to call himself the ring wizard. Both of these men seem to be wanting to psych each other out with words before they actually get physical at the beginning of this matchup. And the crowd, the crowd so far is enjoying every bit of it. Just because they're resorting to schoolyard tactics here at the beginning, don't let that fool you. These two men, they both can go in that ring and Tanner Keeler shoving Sage Phillips into the corner. An interesting story about the two of these men, they both had goals to make it here to FNX Wrestling on our next event. Back in 2019, Sage Phillips was actually booked to work this event. He was here, he was going to be a part of FNX Wrestling, but an injury, Take my picture. Take my picture. well, pretty much ended his chance to be here for that first event. So he made it a goal to be here as soon as he could on the very next event. And here he is in the ring right now. On the other side of that, when we're looking at Tanner Keeler, he also made it a goal of his. Ooh. Phillips just playing around with Keeler. Anyway, Tanner Keeler, he made it a goal of his to be here at FX Wrestling. Back in 2019, Tanner was in the crowd. He was a crowd member watching us as we put on an FNX Wrestling event. And now he is here actually competing. Both men have reached their goals here tonight, but now only one can reign supreme. So let's find out as this match continues. Tanner now calling for something. Oh, could be looking for an old-fashioned Greco-Roman knuckle lock. And I gotta say, when it comes to Sage Phillips, there's a reason he likes to call himself a ring wizard. That man is a tactician 
in the ring. He can hook you from so many different angles and put you down in some of the most painful submission holds that you've ever felt before, and it looks like he's showcasing that right now. Grabs a hold of the ankle, takes Keeler down. Just pulling him back into the center of the ring. Good ring awareness and good ring positioning as he steps through. What's he gonna go for here? Oh my gosh, the pain on the hamstrings and the knee and the ankle, and he's tied him up like a pretzel. This is exactly what I was talking about. He can pinpoint accuracy, pick you apart with submission holds and some of the worst pain that you've ever felt. That is why he calls himself a ring. Oh, a ring wizard. I'm sorry, fans. I've called so much action here, I suddenly had a brain blurb. <laughs> hey, it happens. Sage Phillips now on top of the offense, looking to add to it. Just look at the torque on the body. He is working over the shoulders. He's working over the knees. He's got him into a pin. And somehow, Keeler able to get out of that one. Charges out of the corner, ducks under it, and there's another shot. I'm not even sure how Keeler's still able to stand right now, but up and over to the floor. Phillips now looking to fly. Oh, and Keeler, he telegraphed that one. Now Keeler going and running around the ring and Sage Phillips, he's giving chase. Not sure if Keeler actually wants to continue the matchup or not. Oh, he thought he had him there in Phillips. Phillips able to issue a counter. Nice elbow to the midsection, or shoulder to the midsection. Throws him in, oh, and hits him with a huge lariat. Keeler on the offense. Into a cover, two. Only gets a two count. What? Now Keeler trying to jaw jack with the referee. I don't think you're going to win a match that way, Tanner. Stomped to the back on Phillips. Elbow to the shoulder. Keeler is just laying it in. Phillips trying to fight back with shots to the midsection. Nice jawbreaker. Shoots him off the ropes. Keeler counters out of it. Throws him over with a shoulder toss. And just locks it in. Ring Wizard Tanner Keeler. Yeah. 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 Don't put anything past Tanner Keeler. He can pinpoint you as well. This man is highly skilled in the ring. And wait a minute, Phillips, he's got a hold of the fingers. He's got the hand on Tanner Keeler. Oh, and Keeler with a pull of the hair. Very smart on Tanner Keeler, cutting him off at the offense and now working over the arm again. Seems like the arm is gonna be Keeler's chosen attack point here in this matchup. Good ring positioning there on the part of Keeler as well. Ooh! High elevation move there, and now dropping all of his body weight right on the elbow and the shoulder. Thank you. Phillips has got to be feeling some pain. Lifts him up, can he go for back suplex? Phillips able to counter out of it. Catches the boot, Inzugiri! Phillips now back on the offense. Keeler reverses the Irish whip attempt. Catches him on his shoulder. Keeler looking for a power move here. Phillips counters up. What a DDT. Desperation move there on the part of Sage Phillips. Both men down, fighting back up to their vertical base. Keeler, the first one back to his feet, followed closely by Phillips, who comes out of the corner with a nice shot. And there's another. 
Catches the arm now. Waist lock applied. Goes into the ropes. Keeler holds on. Comes running off. Sidesteps him. Snap German suplex. Could be looking to fly here again now. Bounces off the ropes and dives to the outside. Keeler laid out on the mat on the outside, and the fans here love it. Phillips tossing Keeler back into the ring. That's the only spot you can gain victory here. Boots him in the chest. Launches himself in. Puts him down face first. Into a cover. Still only a two count. And you can see that Phillips is still harboring pain in that shoulder. He's still holding that injured arm. Phillips got him hooked. Keeler shoves him off. Boot to the midsection. Front face lock applied. He hooks him. He'll be looking for a fisherman. He's got him down into a pin. Still only a two count. What's Keeler gonna go for here? He's got him up in the fireman's carry. Phillips trying to fight out. Hooks him. Nice rolling elbow. Got him hooked now. Up and over. Into a cover. And only a two count. Still not enough to put Keeler down. What do these men have to do to gain victory here? Phillips calling for it, looking to hit a submission attempt. He's got him in the center of the ring. Look at the torque on the body. Wait a minute, Keeler, he grabbed the referee. Oh! Keeler just hit a low blow behind the referee. He didn't see it. Belly to belly. And that's it. Tanner Keeler using underhanded tactics with a low blow that the referee did not see, and he walks away tonight with the victory. It is now main event time here at FNX Wrestling, the FNX Rumble. The last man standing after all the competitors have entered this matchup will win the prestigious FNX Cup. Entrant number one making his way to the ring right now, and would you believe this? A man we've already seen tonight, a man who was responsible for costing Congo Kong his matchup at the beginning of the night. Nelson Edwin Robert Doolittle the fifth is our first competitor. I would have thought myself that he would have taken off out of here along with his partner, Dustin Mack, after what they did to Congo Kong earlier tonight. Apparently the allure of being the FNX Cup champion is just too much for the old nerd. Oh. Well, we can only hope that whoever entrant number two is will serve Edwin exactly what he needs, a healthy dose of justice. Oh my gosh. You want to talk about the luck of the draw. Entrant number two just happens to be Nelson's partner in crime, Dustin Mack. Of course, they like to call each other the entitled. How can these two live with themselves? How can these two actually believe what they did was justified?
Wait a second, are you kidding me here? Nelson actually expects his partner to eliminate himself and he can win the match? Well, so far, this has very, been a very auspicious way to begin a Rumble matchup, but entrant number three is about to make his entrance. And the look of fear on the faces of Nelson and Mac. I have a feeling, and I was right. Entrant number three, the man they screwed over earlier tonight, who's ready to get his hands on both of them. Congo Kong, the monster, is angry, and they're gonna immediately begin the attack. Tell you the truth, this is the smartest thing these two could do. Double team tactics on Congo Kong, but he's still on his feet. Congo breaks through the double clothesline attempt. Hits him with one of his own. Mac goes down. Wait a second. Whoa! The power of Congo. Kong lifts them both up for a belly to belly. Rolling senton on both of them. And this is just a little of what they deserve based on what they did earlier tonight. Can you believe the brass on Nelson actually believing that Dustin Mack would willingly eliminate himself and allow Nelson to win this matchup? Are you kidding me? Nelson and Mack starting to fight back. Hey, I was a poet and didn't know it. Wait a second here. Whoa! They took the big man down. That might be good for their current situation, but remember, they cannot win this match by a pinfall submission, disqualification, any of that. The only way to win is by tossing somebody over the top rope, both feet touching the floor. Sounds like we have a new entrant coming in. Entrant number four, we have Brad Skimmelhorn. Brad Skimmelhorn jumping in and going right after Congo Kong. Hits off the ropes here. Hits with a clothesline. Congo's still up on his feet. Hits him with another. This is one of those matches where actual wrestling moves and mat-based tacticians have got to change up their game plan. Congo puts him down with a power slam. Congo standing tall in the ring. All of his opponents are down in the corners. 
Nelson back up. Going to work on Brad Skimmerhorn. Waiting for another entrant to come into this matchup. Look at Congo just waiting with bated breath for the next person to come down. And it's Cody Lee. Well, Cody looks a little trepidatious about getting in there with the big monster. Jumps out of the clothesline attempt here, shot to the face. Nice in Zagiri. Kick to the face, but Congo, Congo seems to have been rocked. Well, it is a smart idea, I believe, when you're a fresh man coming into this matchup. Go immediately after the biggest dog in the yard. Or in this case, Monster. Cody Lee now gonna work over Dustin Mack. Driving those shoulders in the corner. Looks like we have another participant coming in here now. Sage Phillips, the ring wizard himself. Very nice move there by Phillips. You know, it wasn't too long ago we just saw him in action. Nice snap, German. Into the corner with an elbow. I'm sorry, fans. This is one match that's going to be hard to call the action too much because everything is so fast-paced with high octane. Guys flying all over the place. In Zagiri again. Congo stumbling a little bit. Charges in. Nearly takes his head off with that lariat. Congo standing tall again as he goes to work on Brad Skimmelhorn. And there's Cody Lee. Could see our first elimination here. Cody, Sage, they're all working over. Everybody's going in. Our next entrant, Jacob Braun of the Gingerverse coming in. Look at the ring as it's filled up to capacity almost. Congo's still in there. Puts him down head first. In the ring now, Anthony Toatelli. Toatelli going to work over Danger Mask. All of these men want to have the prestigious honor of winning the first FNX Cup. Toatelli now squaring up with Congo. So much action happening here. Jeremy Hadley is out of the matchup. He's been eliminated. So we're telling off the ropes, and Congo plants him down. Phillips now going after Congo in the corner. Cody Lee working over Toatelli. Brad Skimahorn has Danger Mask, and Jacob Braun is taking a breather. It's hard to believe we still have many more entrants to go in this matchup. Phillips runs into a boot by Congo. Uh-oh. Watch out. Phillips could not hold on. Sage Phillips out of this matchup. And it appears so is Brad Skimmelhorn. He was tossed out. Jacob Braun now taking the fight to Congo. Seems like Anthony Toatelli and Danger Mask are gonna team up on Cody Lee. Braun tried to body slam Congo? I know Jacob Braun is a strong man, but Congo's kind of telling you another shot. Use your legs. And while this is happening on the outside, the next entrant about to make his way in. You see him stop him with the chain, Mad Dog Connolly. 
Braun staying unable to get him up, and Congo puts him down with a headbutt. But here comes the Mad Dog. And once again, it seems like I've said it so much, but as soon as he jumps in, he takes the fight straight to Congo Khan. Of course, we have to watch out. And Mad Dog biting the forehead of Congo Kong. I was going to say we have to watch out because he brought that chain out. Wait a minute on the other side. Danger Mask trying to toss out Anthony Toatelli. Connolly now working over Braun in the corner. Toatelli holding on to that bottom rope. He did go over the top rope, but he's got holding that bottom. And wait a second, Mark Vandy, the next entrance to the Gingerverse. What is he doing? Mark Vandy, holy sh crap! Mark Vandy with a moonsault! He throws his partner in the corner. Both members of the Gingerverse in. Splash on Congo! I'm sorry, did Mark Vandy just hit a moonsault? Vandy tosses Toatelli out. He's holding on to that top rope. But not for long, Anthony Toatelli is out. Vandy now cut off at the pass by Mad Dog Connolly. They both got each other. Braun coming to the aid of his partner, but remember, there are no tag teams in a match like this. Vandy with Danger Mask, Irish Whip reverses the attempt into an elbow by the Monster. And now both members of the Ginger Burst down. Worked over by Mad Dog Connolly, Danger Mask, and Congo Kong. Our next entry making his way, it's Tanner Keeler, victorious earlier tonight in controversial fashion. Congo looking to eliminate Danger Mask. Wait a second, Tanner, Tanner, Tanner! Tanner just took out the Gingerverse! takes out the gingerbread. You can see the looks on the face of Braun and Vandy. They are not happy about this, but that's that's the stakes of the match like this. You can never take your eye off the ball. Keeler now got Mad Dog Connolly. Danger Mask running in on Congo. He's trying to get him up. Congo is a big man. Congo gets out of it. Wait a minute. Next entrant coming in here, Jake Braddock. We got some size in this matchup. Braddock now once again taking the fight to Congo. Hits him with the clothesline. Bounce off the ropes. There's the second one. Gonna go for a third. Ducks a Larry attempt here. Hits the other side. Extra elevation on that one. Puts Kong on the mat. Over in the other corner, you got Danger Mask, Mad Dog Connolly, Tanner Keeler, all working over. We're trying to work over each other, but look at Tanner Keeler here. That's a smart move. He's using that bottom rope. He's pulling himself out of harm's way. Seems like we're going to have ourselves another person coming in the match pretty soon. So far, Congo Kong is the longest competitor in this matchup. He has the longest time here. And Eric Dillinger looks like he's going to be our next competitor. Wait a second on the outside, Danger Mask in danger himself, and he's out! Mad Dog Connolly, Tanner Keeler eliminating Danger Mask. Wait a minute, Connolly's got Keeler, and Keeler says bye bye. Connolly just successfully takes out Tanner Keeler. Jake Braddock working over Eric Dillinger in the corner, and now the Mad Dog takes the fight back to the monster. Wait a second, Dillinger. Dillinger in a precarious position. Braddock has almost got Dillinger out of here. We are once again waiting for the next competitor. Wait a second, it's Jensen. Jensen wants a piece of the FNX Cup. Why not? And Jensen immediately comes in and goes after, goes after Eric Dillinger. Don't you dare, Dillinger. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, 
this air of confliction here on the part of Eric Dillinger and Jensen in the corner with a splash. Now she hits Jake Braddock. Glancing blow there by Jensen on Dillinger. Oh my goodness, and would you look at this right now. And the next entrant just came in and jumped Jensen from behind. It's Briar Skimmerhorn. The other half of the Skimmerhorns, of course, Brad was already taken out earlier in the matchup. Briar now has an opportunity. And Congo almost seems like he's trying to protect Jensen. Remember, Jensen got her start in this business as a trainee. Oh, Congo Kong. We now have teacher and student working together in a matchup like this, and whoa! Ho oh, ho! Congo's not afraid, they're trading shots back and forth. This is a respect issue between these two. Jensen coming out on top though, look at those elbows. Still action throughout the entire ring. Jensen trying to get Congo out, and he stops her. Congo now has her up against the ropes. And just like that, Jensen is out of this matchup. And our next competitor jumping in the ring, Alexander S. Kirk. Wait a minute, Eric Dillinger with a high impact drop kick in the corner on Jake Braddock. Connery now has Kirk in the corner. Briar Skimmerhorn taking the fight to Congo. Hey, down in front. Down in front, man. Dillinger tried to eliminate Jake Braddock, but Braddock was able to fight out of it. And now look at Briar. He's got Congo's leg up. Of course, on the other side, Connolly was trying to do the same thing to Alexander S. Kirk. Wait a minute, with a shot off the top rope, Briar Skimmerhorn is out of here. We still have competitors yet to be in this matchup, but so far we've seen some pretty fantastic things. Next entry getting ready to come in here. He just rolled in the ring. It's Eli Wilder. Wilder now takes a shot from Mad Dog Connolly. Trading blows back and forth. Congo getting a little bit of a respite. Mad Dog with Wilder tossing him out of the corner. Any one of these competitors could win this whole thing tonight and see their stock in FNX Wrestling completely rise. Are we ready for another competitor? And here comes Mikey. Congo working over Eli Wilder in the corner. Mad Dog Connolly and Jake Braddock are squaring off. Eric Dillinger and Alexander S. Kirk and Mikey, the enigmatic Mikey, now back in the ring going straight for a man he's already met tonight, Eric Dillinger, and drops him with a body slam. And now Mikey, he's got Kirk, puts him down with a body slam. Grabs a hold of the Mad Dog. And he's down with a body slam. Now he's got Wilder. Body slam. Why stop there? Mikey with Jake Braddock. Body slam. And now Mikey has set his sights on Congo Kong. If he's able to pull this one off, it's going to be fantastic. Remember, kid, lift with your legs. And Wade Congo turns the tides, and Congo unceremoniously dumps Mikey to the outside. As our next competitor just gets in, Jackson P. Larkin. And let me tell you something, 
Jackson P. Larkin is a big man. Ice whoop off the rope. Nice shoulder block. And look at the power offense on the part of Jackson. Still, Congo Kong, the longest remaining competitor in this matchup. He came in at number three. Dillinger working over Jackson in the corner. Wilder getting some shots in on Alexander S. Kirk, and Mad Dog turns his attention once again to Congo Kong, who's got him up on his shoulders. Could be looking at an elimination. Congo's trying. He's got him up, and the Mad Dog is out. Mad Dog Connolly, your night has ended in the FNX Rumble. Uh oh, watch out. He's got that chain wreck. You might want to watch out with that. Jake Braddock now working over Jackson P. Larkin. And wait a second, Blair Onyx has come into this matchup. She wants a piece of the FNX Cup, and she's going straight for Congo Kong. And Congo just stops her, he's got her goozled. Shot to the midsection. Nice counter there by Blair. You just know that the Spider Lady would love to add the FNX trophy, the FNX cup, to her list of accomplishments. Ducks underneath there, going to work on him. Nice kick to the side of the head. I have a feeling that's not the first time that's happened to Kirk. Kirk now back and Blair into the corner. Could be looking for an elimination. Got our next entrant into this matchup, Matt O'Hare. And it feels like I've said it so many times, but the fresh guy comes in and immediately goes after Congo, and Congo puts him down with a shot. So much action happening right now, and Jake Braddock taking the fight to Blair Onyx. Wait a minute, over on the other side, Matt O'Hare dangerously close to an elimination. He just got in this matchup. Uh, you're looking on the other side of the ring now. Eli Wilder is up on that top rope. Dillinger and Kirk trying to get him out. But Wilder able to fight out of it. Blair Onyx once again taking the fight to Congo and he brings it back. Wait a minute on the other side there. Dillinger hanging on by a foot. Dillinger hanging on. Wilder now almost in, in danger of being eliminated. We're looking for the next competitor to come into this matchup. Alex Slade. Alex Slade now the fresh man. Dillinger still in. He hung on. He, wrapped, he got his foot hooked on that bottom rope and he hung on. So many competitors in this ring right now. Dillinger now back in. Alex Slade just tried to put Blair down with a DDT, but the Spider Lady pops back up. And Slade is afraid. Look at Slade hiding behind Jake Braddock. Wait a minute, Braddock's got her. He goozled her. Double team tactics by Matt O'Hare and Alexander S. Kirk. And we have the final competitor into this matchup, Justin Myers. This is it, folks. All competitors have now entered the match. One of these combatants will win the FNX Cup. Wait. Matt O'Hare, Matt O'Hare, he held on. He's still in this matchup. The feet did not touch the floor. Over on the far side, they're all ganging up on Congo. They want to get him out. Oh, and Alex Slade. Alex Slade has been eliminated from the match by Jackson P. Larkin. 
Jackson now. Wait a minute, what's Blair looking to do on Jackson? Congo fights out of everybody and is still in this matchup. Blair becoming the spider lady again. Oh! And they cut her off. Myers working over Dillinger. Wait a minute, Matt O'Hare. Matt O'Hare comes up behind Congo trying to get him out. Over on the other side of the ring, Blair is in danger of being eliminated. Jackson's trying to get her out, but she's holding on tight. Eli Wilder joining in. Blair Onyx has been eliminated. Blair Onyx has been eliminated. And wait, up from behind, Eli Wilder. He's dumped over the top rope, and he lands on the ring apron. Once again, fans, one of these competitors, wait, Alexander S. Kirk, trying to eliminate Wilder, gets himself eliminated. One of these competitors will win the prestigious FNX Cup. Wilder now charging into the corner on Jackson. What is Myers doing? Myers dumps out Matt O'Hare. Congo now trying to do an elimination. He gets Wilder out of there. We are down to our final four. Jake Braddock, Jackson P. Larkin, Congo Kong, and Eric Dillinger. Eric Dillinger and Congo Kong. We've got perfect showcases of power, size, speed, and agility in this matchup with all four of these combatants. Dillinger lands a kick on Braddock. Jackson going to work on Congo. Congo been in this match the longest out of everybody. And he's stumbling. Congo Kong is down. But again, you can put somebody down as many times as you want, but you have to get them back up and tossed over the top. Dillinger up to that top rope. Looking for a frog splash. But Congo counters out of it. He goes a little bit midair, picks him up, and plants him down with a choke slam. And just like that, Eric Dillinger, you are done in this rumble. Wait a minute. Tries to pull the rope down, grabs the leg for extra elevation. Jackson is out. We are down to two. It's going to be either Jake Braddock or Congo Kong. One of these two will win the FNX Cup and their stock in FNX Wrestling will rise significantly. Trading shots in the center of the ring. It's almost a variation of anything you can do, I can do better. Braddock's still taking the fight to Congo. Comes charging in with a clothesline. Wait a minute, Congo up, Congo over. Jake Braddock has won. Jake Braddock is the FNX Cup champion. Jake Braddock won the trophy. Jake Braddock has outlasted all the other competitors and become the first ever FNX Cup champion. Trophy in hand. This is a huge moment in the career of Jake Braddock. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here at FNX Wrestling for our second time out at the Bluffton Street Fair. Pay attention to FNX.network for all late breaking news and notes and any information on upcoming FNX Wrestling events. Until then, Jake Braddock is your FNX Cup Champion.